Hello, everyone. Good evening. Nice to see you Good over evening. here. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How was Good your evening, day at teacher. work, Saira? Was it good? Um, repeat, teacher. Mm -hmm. How was your day at work in the hotel? ¿Cómo estuvo su día de trabajo? How was your day Yo, at work? Estoy malo, estaba asociando con restaurante. Perdón, uh -huh. teacher. No, lo que pasa es que mucho hemos hablado de restaurants. <laughs> that is why. Um, y very good, teacher. Much, um, much, much work was. Ay, ¿cómo se dice pesado? Estuvo pesado. It was hard. It was hard. Hard. Y en my, my boss no, no está. Didn't, oh, was, didn't arrive. Didn't arrive at work. Como digo, mi jefe no está. My, my, my boss is not available or at work at the moment. My boss is not available at the moment. I can send uh, it in the chat. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, uh, Yo escribo ahí. Uh -huh. My boss is not available at the moment. That is what you could say. So yes, I imagine that you have more things to do if your boss is not in the company. Hi guys. I, I, I haven't taken the attendance, taken the attendance, but okay, I will do it now. But nice to see you, Saire. Nice to see all of you in, in the class. Okay, so let's start okay. with Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, then Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Javier. Ya dijo presente, present. right? Okay. Carlos Antonio. Present. Thank you. Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Galileo. It's, it's here. Present. Then, present. No. Thank you. Then Jonathan. Jonathan Vigil. Present. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas, Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Maria Concepcion. Present. Okay, then Mayra, Mayra Moreno. Maria Elena. Nelson Gabarrete. Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. And then Zaira, Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Wendy Maribel. Thank you. And Jenny Santos. Okay. Good right. Thank you. Hi, Arnoldo. Okay, I'm going to add you here. How are you doing, Arnoldo? Are you doing well? I'm fine, thanks. You're fine, okay. I'm glad to see you here. Hi, Elena, you're driving. Okay, Elena, Elena is not available in this moment. Hi, yes, teacher. are you in the traffic? Hi, yes, mm, good evening. Okay. Good evening, well, Hi, nice Mary. to see you here. We missed you yesterday. We miss yes. all of you, Arnoldo, I, uh, Jonathan. Very later, I hope. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. I checked. Hey. That is why you couldn't hey. come. Hey. In the office. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Okay, so in this moment, we're going to, well, watch again your menus. Vamos a volver a ver los, los menus que crearon ayer. Algunos de ustedes ya, algunos ya lo tienen completo. Y vamos a tener un jurado. Okay, so Jonathan and Arnoldo, Elena is not available. Los que no estaban ayer. Galileo is, is sick, so he is not going to participate. So Jonathan and Arnoldo, eh, you're going to be the, the jury, okay? Ustedes van a ser el jurado. Your classmates are going to show you some menus. Yesterday they created menus. They have different restaurants, Mexican food, pupuserías, and others, hamburger, Tilin restaurants, so there are different restaurants. So we're going to look at them. Okay, Lily. Um, hi, Lily. Can you share your, your menu, please? We're going to look at the menus. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we continue with Anna. You're going to share your menu once Lily finishes. Okay. Carlos Eli sent me sent me a menu yesterday. Was it the same as you? Eli me envió un, un menu. Decía Eli's restaurant. Era de todos o solo de ella? Your groups. Estábamos a queriendo hacer do, uno más completo, pero le dije que este era más sencillo y ella quería modificarlo. Por ah, eso se le envió okay. ella. Ah, ok. El yes. grupo. Ok. How are you doing, Lily? Did you find it? Ok. So, Arnoldo and Jonathan, here you can see the menu that they created. It's a. It's a, it's a tacos restaurant, right? Yes, I can see. Okay, observe. It has different categories, the starters, the snacks. It has the main courses, desserts, and drinks. Okay. Have you finished? Ya lo vieron bien? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now let's continue. Thank you, Lily. Now, Anna, can you share your your menu, your group's okay, menu? Okay, teacher. Sorry. Okay. So please observe that menu. Okay, thank you, Anna. Let's continue. Laura, can you share your menu, please? El que presentamos ayer, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mínimo, mínimo, Laura. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, permítame. Yours is Tilin's. Restaurant, right? No. Sí. Ah, okay. I'm never going to forget that that name. And Carlos, I sent you the the presentation, the presentation Ellie sent to me, maybe you can share it for the class once uh, Laura finishes. Okay, sorry, Laura. Okay, so here you have the next, the, the other menu. Okay, it has appetizers, desserts, main courses, and the drinks, right? Very expensive drinks in this menu, water, costs $1.75, almost the same price as soda. Okay, thank you, Laura. And now, 
Carlos. Teacher. Ajá. Disculpe, este, ese, este menú el, lo hicimos ayer la presentación, pero oh, quería que le agregáramos más cosas. No, no. Lo arreglamos. Ajá, the one you have. No, it's ah, okay. Okay. Um, are you ready, Carlos? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, it is very simple. Oh, I sent you the other one. Eh, les no. le envié ahí al grupo. Bueno, sorry, a su número. I sent the presentation to your to your WhatsApp number. You. Am I missing somebody else? Se me queda algún otro menú that we have to share. Ese se lo, se lo acabo de enviar ahorita. That is yes, the, the sure. one I, I received. Okay, so that's the, the last one. Elis Restaurant. <laughs> that's it. But it has your names. Uh -huh. I just know it is Oscar, Carlos, and, and Elis. Snap. Main course. <laughs> the, the desert. Drink. Okay, thank you, Carlos. So, Jonathan and Arnoldo, I'm going to send you to our room so you can discuss the, the information, the menus, and then you come back and you tell us the one you think has one. Los voy a enviar a otro room para que platiquen un ratito y luego nos dicen cuál es el, el ganador. Les vamos a dejar esa difícil decisión. So, okay, Arnoldo. Uh, and Jonathan. Okay, so please open the room in two minutes or three. I will send you right back. Okay. They will come back and they will give us the answer. And the winner is going to have a digital candy. Okay, I will send you a candy by chat. Voy a enviar unos dulces electrónicos. Okay, so you can you can get something. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's hold on. Delivery. Mm, yes, with Hugo, right? I'm going to get your address to send you the. Uh, ¿Cómo le dicen la Navidad? That's another option, right? The gift. Okay, so we will wait just one moment. Hello, Rodrigo. Welcome. Nice to see you over here. What time did you finish working, Laura? What, teacher? What time did you finish working today? Uh, I, I finished uh, five. 30 p.m. At 5.30 p.m. Oh, okay. It was yes. early. Do you have to work tomorrow? Repeat, please. Do you have to work tomorrow? Um, I am accounting. Ah, an accountant. Y tiene que trabajar yes. mañana. Do you have to work tomorrow? Yes. Uh, weekend of day. Weekends off. Ah, okay. That's cool. Free is la cosa. Weekend. Off. You can say off. <laughs> okay. Yes. And Carlos, what is your occupation? What do you do? Because I saw your profile picture and there are many police officers 
like with you. <laughs> so I, I, I was manager. like curious. I you are a manager. Of? Of in the board, La Chaura. Ah, okay. So you work with the, the frontier. You're yes. a manager. Ah, okay. All right. Welcome back. Ah, okay. Welcome back, Arnoldo and, and Jonathan. So who is going to tell us? ¿Qué nos va a decir? Who is going to present the winner? And you tell us why. Nos dicen por qué. Arnoldo. Arno okay, Arnoldo. Yo voy a decir... ¿Quién y yo no por qué? <laughs> ok, good, you divide the word. The winner is the group number three, Celine Hamburger. Celine, Celine Hamburger. Yeah. Ah, ok, ok, congratulations. Why? Because um, they don't have... Um, Mistake uh, orthographic. Ah, okay. So yeah, they, they um, no, no, they don't have um, uh, muchos. Many. Many, many, many mistakes. Uh, orthographic. Grammar. Grammar orthographic. Grammar mistakes. Ah, uh, okay. The presentation is uniform. And they have um, varied. Uh, Variety. Variety. Um, in prices in your um, services and plates. Mm, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Arnoldo and Jonathan. Okay. So, congratulations, Laura, Brian, and who was working with you? I'm missing someone. Nelson. ¿Quién era el otro participante? Oscar. Rodrigo. Ah, Rodrigo. Okay, so congratulations. It no had the prices. Ah, ha, ha, yes, send us a, a, lotilín, a lotilín. sample. Yes, I'm going to send you the candy, okay? So there is the candy that I'm giving you. Okay, so let's continue. Anna, we will talk about restaurants. Five weeks talking about restaurants. Van a terminar como Zaira y al final traumados de tanto hablar de restaurants. Okay, five weeks talking about restaurants. Okay, so Ana, what of? Oh, well, sorry, this is a group activity. I'm going to give you two questions. And you and your group, you and your classmates have to discuss that. Lo vamos a hacer en grupos. Vamos a hablar de eso. Remember, you have a restaurant. Ustedes tienen su restaurante, right? And you want to introduce a new menu item. ¿Quieren ingresar o, o pues promover un nuevo producto, un nuevo platillo? So you have to say, what would you do? Quiero que piensen en qué harían para, para promoverlo. What would you do to introduce a new menu item. That's question one. What do you think about giving free samples of new products? I'm going to tell you what a sample is. Les voy a decir que es un sample. And read, read the definition, please, in the chat. It's a small amount, okay, a little piece of something that you give when you want people to try the food. It's like just a little bit that you give. Es como un poquito de esa comida que le dan a una persona para que la pruebe. Okay? Ese es un sample. Uh -huh. When you go to the supermarket, sometimes they give you cheese or sausage, right? They give you a sample, a little bit of something. Okay, so that is what you have to do. Eso es lo que tienen que pensar como grupo. What you will do, and if you will give free samples. Do you understand? Do you have questions about this activity? No, no questions. Okay. The, the question number one, where is the 
the translate. What would you do? ¿Qué harían? To introduce. Yeah. Para introducir ese new menu item. Okay, you're welcome. There are 15 of you. So we will be working in groups of three. Okay, hold on. Okay, five minutes. Five minutes and then you explain. ¿verdad? Vamos a darles five minutes or six, tres para cada pregunta. And when you come back, you share your ideas. Laura, did you receive the, the, the invite? Le cayó su invitación, Laura, para ir al grupo. Laura, ajá. No. No, teacher. Ah, ok. Todos están ya en grupo y solo yo. Ajá. No. Sí. Mire, teacher, es que estoy teniendo problemas, no sé si es el internet o algo, quizás por eso no entra, fíjese, o estará muy lento, o la compu definitivamente tiene algún virus o qué sé yo, ah, <risa> porque sí. este se me está como quedando así lenta, y no sé, quizás por eso, pero igual no recibí la invitación. Qué raro, podría ser un problema, pero ahorita se lo voy a enviar entonces, give me one, one moment. Eh, okay, and now, y ahora, hoy sí.
Okay, so now that you are back, let's talk about your opinion, your ideas. We start with group number one, Brian, Carlos, Laura, and Maria Concepcion. So question number one. Teacher, uh -huh. only one question, only one question. Eh, ¿Cuál es la palabra para pestaña? Pestaña? Uh -huh. Are you talking about this? No, pestaña como en, en una página ah, para sí. crear. Ah, ok. Computer. Computer vocabulary. Yes. They are called tabs. Thanks. Mm -hmm. An internet tab could be an Excel tab. Just mention the program. And, and that's it. Ok, so question number one. Who is go going to say the answer? Who has the answer? Question number one. What will you do to introduce a new menu item in your restaurant? Uh, Carlos. Uh -huh. We group, uh, I think, um, two, two options. Add, mm -hmm. add new, add new it, items to your website and the use social network site to share mm -hmm. the information about your new products. Because, oh, okay. because the many people are the use the social uh, social Networks? network. So social network site, it is the better option. Okay, so you are going to use social media to promote the new menu item, the new product. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, group number one. Then Arnoldo, Zaira, Wendy. What would you do? Question number one. Remove a dish that it is not on demand in the in the menu, or create a, a space for a new item. Oh, okay. Introduce a tab in a in a web a web page, and share information in social network. Ah, oh, okay. So you will use the internet, right? You will take advantage of the internet. A website and social media too. Thank you. Lily, Jonathan, Oscar. Well, Oscar is driving. Uh, and Jenny, what, what is your idea? Question number one. The idea is promote the new item at a low price um, for a limit time. For a um, limit um, ah. time. A better price, See, an economic price for a limited price, time. Uh, yes, uh, like, a, um, for example, um, Wendy's, when they um, promote a new hamburger, mm -hmm. they are, they are um, the prices are low. Economic, a very economic, economic price. Economic, mm -hmm. economic yeah. price. Yeah, because people want economic, economic prices. So if you give an economic price, they will go for it. Yes, that's another for a limit time. For a limit time. Uh -huh. Just at the beginning, just to introduce yes. the product. Okay, thank All you. Right. That's a good idea. Beatriz, Ana Beatriz, Rodrigo, Omar and Nelson. Ana. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and goods is a um, promotion in advertise radio, TV, mm -hmm. social network, Facebook, no, Facebook, 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 uh, uh, la página de fanpage, fanpage, ah. offer discounts, uh, brochure, product tasks, and free samples. Wow, a lot of options to, to promote. Yes. The, the product, yes. the radio, TV, newspaper, social media, flyers, exactly. everything. 
Okay, yes. thank you. Then question number two, group number one, Laura, Brian, Carlos and Maria Concepcion. The question says, what do you think about giving free samples of new products? What is your opinion? Will you use it? Uh, I think giving, giving free samples is a good strategy because mm -hmm. because the the people when the receive uh, the the little food or food uh, mm -hmm. is they are uh, Ah, él quería decir en inglés, teacher, que ellos tienen un, una idea acerca de la comida, cosa más real, ah, no solo, uh -huh. no solo de, de verlo. Yes, uh -huh. but they have an idea about what the food tasted, tastes like. Ellos tienen una idea de cómo sabe la comida. They have an idea what the food tastes like. Tastes. Tastes. Lo voy a enviar acá en el chat. Taste. Taste es el verbo probar, pero de, de saborear. So, tastes like. They have an idea about what the product tastes like. Mm -hmm. tastes And they like. can, if they want it, they, they, will, they will eat it. Uh -huh, okay, thank you. Do you have anything else to say or is that it, um, Carlos? Yes, that is, teacher. Okay, thank you. Group number two. Group number two, Arnoldo, Saira, and Wendy. What about you? Would you use it? Would you use it? Um, Free samples. Prepare, prepare brochures. Mm. Uh, maybe uh, two for one promo. Mm -hmm. And sample this... around the city. Ah, okay. So yes. What is your opinion Samples about the samples? The um. Samples is, is good. The, the people, Carlos says, the people uh, taste the flavor. And the, their opinion is, is more exactly. This is a promo, promo the mouth to mouth promotion. Mm -hmm. And is, is more effective. Uh, for a for a restaurant or or food service, uh, when the people taste uh, the flavor of the of the food. In the mm -hmm. in my case, I see when uh, some brand uh, use these these uh, these methods. When yes. the when the people taste the mouth to mouth promotion is is more fast when the when the iron uh, crezca que el producto crezca grows. para una marca uh -huh. grows for so, the brand. Yeah. Yes, I think the sample is is a good idea too. Thank you, Arnoldo, Lily, Jonathan, and Jenny. What do you think about the samples? What, what do you think Free about sample? giving samples? Mm -hmm. Free sample is an excellent idea for the people to get to know the product or the new food. The taste in uh, texture or the texture. The texture. The texture. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Uh -huh. Okay, so you also agree. You like that idea. Okay, thank you guys. Then Ana, Rodrigo, Nelson, and Omar. What do you think about yeah, the samples? Yeah. Omar, uh -huh. Is necessary to publish the product? I have it accepted. It's considered in the cost of promotion. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can use this word to promote or to advertise. Okay, thank you. And Rodrigo, do you have a comment? Uh, yes, the, the, the testing is necessary so that the client know the new menu of the restaurant to see the level of acceptation. Uh, acceptance. Of acceptance. Mm -hmm. Acceptance, okay, only. Yes. Okay, so all of you, all of you would like to, would like to do it, right? Okay, thank you everyone. Now in the book, in the book we have other ideas, okay? We have other ideas, other strategies to introduce a new menu. Wendy, can you read number one, please? Idea or strategy number one? Pro provide. Mm -hmm. Provide free food sampling of your new products. Correct. Thank you. So that is the one you mentioned. Free samples. Number two, Maria Concepcion. Can you read option number two? Add new items. To your, items to your items to your white website. Correct. That's the one that I think Arnoldo mentioned, right? You see in the website. You also mentioned that strategy. Then we have number three. Nelson, can you read strategy number three, please? Okay. You say social network side to share the information about you and product. Mm -hmm. Social network sites. That's another option. Lily, do you use social networks? Do you use social networks, uh, Lily? Como me leo, no tengo que decir. You, if you use. No, que si usted utiliza social networks, do you use social networks? ¿Utiliza usted redes sociales? Social networks? Yes. Which ones? Yes. ¿Cuáles? Which ones? In Facebook. Mm -hmm. in Facebook en WhatsApp. Instagram. No. No. Twitter. No. Solo esas dos. Just Facebook and WhatsApp. And do you promote services using Facebook? Usted en Facebook. promueve cosas yes. in Facebook. Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Correct. And That's a, another idea. Uh huh. And una página de toolkit. What is the name? Of the website, Trocket. Yes, uh, it's the first time I listen to that name. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Lily. And then we have strategy number four. Can you read the next strategy, Saira? Please. Give a promotional offer. Oh, the previous that one. Include number four. Num number four. Uh -huh. Advertise. Advertise the product in the white space of the receipts. Okay, thank you. What do you think about that one, guys? What do you understand? 
advertise the products in the white space of their receipts. Do you have an idea, Rodrigo? Eh, promotion and receive al caldía, he visto eso. Es promotional. Uh -huh. Correct, thank you. Uh, who had another comment? Anna. Or was it you, Saira? No sé si alguien más tenía otro comment about that one. No. White space means what's the space of the rest receipt is like a uh, movies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue with number number five. Can you help us with that one, Anna? Please, number five. Give a give, give a promotion offer that including the new item the customer after a receipt visit. Okay, thank you, Anna. Now, question. Laura, what do you understand? ¿Qué entiende de esta? What does it mean? Eh, en, en inglés o en español. Eh, en inglés. Eh, en inglés. Per, es que, permítame. Yes. I can give you time if you want to. An explanation. Como una explicación de qué entiende que es el, la estrategia número cinco. what you understand. And Brian, too. Brian uh, también nos dice que, que entiende. Uh -huh. I, I entend. Uh, I understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, cuando, what? No. Cuando, what? <laughs> when? When? Uh, when uh, mm -hmm. when I visit a, a new uh, uh, bazaar or, or more or, or more mm -hmm. in, or receive a service uh, this uh, after after receive give uh, give me a product uh, a product promotional mm -hmm. a flyer you can call it flyer uh, quería decir que después de pagar un servicio o sea de uñas o algo me pueden dar un Servicio promocional. Uh, algo promocional, uh -huh. un artículo promocional. Uh -huh. Sometimes they give like a, like a flyer, like a little paper, a piece of paper with a promotion. That is okay. called a flyer. When you go to okay. a food court, there are sometimes men giving this paper to people. Okay. So, uh -huh. Thank you, Laura. Uh, and, and you, Brian, what is your opinion? De la última. Uh -huh. Lo que entiendes. Uh -huh. A promotional offer. I, I understand. Uh, that, that is a good idea. Because. Because uh, people. Uh, Conoce, ¿cómo se dice? Cono para conocer. To know. Uh, the people to know new product. The, 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 the minor. Yes, the Brian. Minor. I agree with you. It helps people to know this promotional product. Yes. Um, thank you, Brian. Do you guys have any other comments? Do you have a question about point number five? 
Arnoldo and Wendy. Uh -huh. Let's listen to, to Arnoldo and then, yes, Wendy, we will, just one moment. We don't hear you, Arnoldo. Arnoldo? Okay, Wendy? Mm, I remember, uh, I remember um, uh, in, in supermarket or in my school, mm -hmm. <laughs> my child, <laughs> uh, give a promotion, a promotional new product so the or what else boquitas snacks the the snacks snacks or soda and i remember i question um encuesta como se dice survey Survey. The survey. Mm -hmm. Give a promotional and organize, 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 mm -hmm. um, uh, me la palabra. <laughs> Which uh, questions? They ask questions. questions. Yes. Ah, they ask, ask questions, questions about the product. Yes. Ah. Okay. Thank you, Wendy, for sharing uh, your experience. Arnoldo? Come back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we couldn't hear uh, you. For example, when we visit, visit uh, Pollo Campero, uh -huh. Campero or Wendy's uh, after our visit, they have a ticket when a uh, when an address and when we share our opinion uh, and we we receive a special promo in the next visit, for example. Uh, a menu with one piece in, in soda. Uh, this is a uh, this is a way for promote uh, yes. a new item. No? Uh huh. It's a good idea. Or the give, give promotional. Correct. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes they say if you fill out the survey, we are going to give you the dessert. That's another yes. idea to promote the, the feel, feeling of those. Okay, thank you, Arnoldo. In, in this moment, we are going to learn a little bit about how to create an action plan. Okay, that is what we are going to study. If you work in a restaurant, sometimes you need an action plan to introduce the product. And there are five questions that we have to answer when we complete an action plan. Vamos a ver cómo hacer un, un action plan para poder introducir un nuevo producto. Hay cinco preguntas eh, essential questions, cinco preguntas esenciales para la elaboración de este. The questions that you see here. Question number one. Maybe you can help me out. Jonathan, can you read question number one? Yes. Please. What action or change will happen? Thank you. That's question one. Question number two, Carlos. Would you read it, please? Who will carry it out? Uh-huh. Who will carry out? Thank you. And then Nelson, question number three. Number three, uh, when, when will 
I take place and for online. Aha, uh -huh. thank you. Now the next one, Jenny. Are you there, Jenny? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, what sí. resources? What resources, resources are resources are needed to carry out the chain? Thank you. Uh -huh. That is the next question. Can you read the last question, Wendy? Please. Okay. I don't see. Um, communication? Uh huh. Communication. Who show know what? Thank you. Here we have a verb to execute. Well, carry out means to perform or to execute, to do. That is the meaning of carry out. To execute to perform or to do something. Do you understand the questions? ¿Entendemos las preguntas? ¿O hay alguna que no mucho? All of them are in future tense. El will solo expresa que está en, en futuro, la pregunta. It's like going to. Do you have a question about the questions? Lily, questions? Brian, entendemos las cinco preguntas? The essential questions? In my case, no teacher. No, Sorry. ninguna, Wendy, no. or solo alguna, no. The first question mm -hmm. is clear. Because mm -hmm. other four questions for me, no. Okay, let's try to figure it out. Vamos a tratar de entender. Who, Wendy, se recuerda que es? Who? ¿Quién? Ajá. Uh -huh. In the future, is going to do it. Who will do it? ¿Qué entiende que le digo? Who will do it? ¿Quién hizo? In future tense, en el futuro. ¿Quién hará? Ajá, ¿quién haría este, este action plan? Uh -huh. That will be question number three. Ok, when, y aquí, la primera es la más esencial. When, future ¿Cuándo? tense, ajá, está en future tense porque está will. Y luego dice take place. Take place. Tomar lugar. Ajá. Ya ve que sí las entiende. When will take place. Por palabra. Ajá. Hay que irla. Ajá. Y how long do you remember what it means? ¿Se recuerdan qué es el how long? Or when we have to use it. Correct. Ajá. El tiempo. What's the meaning? Por cuánto tiempo. Oh. That is question number three. And then let's continue with this one. Okay, Lily, do you understand question D? ¿Entiende esta pregunta, Lily? D? What resources are needed? Reservar? No. No, resources is, is different. It's like the materials, the tools. Son como los, re, ajá, Brian. Uh -huh. Son los recursos, la, los materiales. What resources are needed? Y recuerden, carry out is a synonym. Oops. Carry out is como do. Okay, so what resources are needed to do the change? What does it mean, Lily? Or Brian? Mm -hmm. 
No, en este momento se convierte en un phrasal verb que lleva una preposición, así que le cambia el significado. Ya no va a ser de cargar, sino que es carry out, uh. hacer o ejecutar. Ajá, eso significaría así. So, Lily, do you understand the question now or not yet? No, okay. Uh, can you help us, Rodrigo? Do you have an idea? Como que quiere decir esa question? G. Sí. Uh -huh. Question G. Como qué recursos son necesarios para el cambio? Correct. Uh -huh. Para hacer ese cambio. Thank you, Rodrigo. And then we have question E. Jenny, what do you understand? Communication. Who should know what? ¿Quién debería eh, conocerlo? Ajá. Uh -huh. Who should know what? Como quién debería saber qué cosa. Como que de asign uh -huh. asignaciones, right? About assignments. Okay, thank you. So now that we have the questions, you have to read the information, read the information, and you have to tell me what the answer. Okay, each statement answers a question. Cada, cada statement que ven acá o oración corresponde a una pregunta. You have to find where it belongs. Tienen que ver si la primera pertenece a la pregunta A o si es la pregunta B la que está respondiendo. You have to analyze. Tienen que evaluar lo que dice y ver qué pregunta está contestando. Okay? Analyze the information and then tell me what is the question that is answered. When did your in little A mm -hmm. happen? What's the meaning in this happen? Case? Like pasar. Pasará in, in this case because oh. it's future tense. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. So do you have questions? Do you understand what you have to do? Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Okay. I'm going. Uh, I will take the attendance first because it's it's time to take the attendance and and then we continue with this. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Y Carlos Antonio. Present. And Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here with Jose Galileo. Jose Jonathan. I'm here, ma'am. Ah, okay. Present. Rodrigo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present. Okay, thank you. Mayra Moreno. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here. Okay. Omar Francisco. Present. Okay. Thank you. Oscar Villatoro. Present. Okay. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. And Jenny Santos. Present. Okay, thank you. Elena and Oscar, can you participate now in, in the class? Are you able to participate now? It's okay, no problem. Ah, okay. All right. And Elena? Maybe not yet.
teacher a question. Ajá. Este, perdón, me desconecté un momento. ¿Qué, qué actividad se va a hacer? Uh, right now, we have to number the steps of the action plan. For example, you have to read the statement, Arnoldo, the drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion, and you have to decide what is the question that the statement is answering, what the statement answers. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you finish, send me a private message so I can check. Wendy, not yet, right? Don't worry. Okay, you can continue. It's okay. But if you have finished, guys, send me a message and I will tell you if it's, if it's good or not.
Sorry, Carlos. All of them are correct. All of them. Sorry, I was checking the wrong, the wrong answers. But yes, they are fine. Don't change them. Don't change them. It was my mistake. Okay, then Arnoldo. Arnoldo. Okay. Number two, correct number two. And one moment, hold on. You have to correct number two, Arnoldo, number one. And yes, Arnoldo, we have to do it again. But um, guys, how are you doing? Have you finished? We will check them together in this moment. Vamos a revisarlo juntos to see if we have the same, the same, the same opinion. Okay, let's begin with Oscar. Okay, Oscar, the drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. It is letter C. When will it take place um, for long? Correct, uh -huh. letter C. When? And the answer is during Valentine's Day, right? So in February, that is why. Ahí contesta el cuando, when? Valentine's Day in February. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's continue with the next one. Omar, the chef created the recipe for the drink. The manager approved of it and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Is letter B. Letter B. Yes. Okay, thank you, Omar. And you, Wendy, do you have the same opinion, letter B, or a different opinion? Uh, letter B. Letter B, yeah. that's correct. Letter B guys, that's the next one. Number two, it's letter B. Who will carry out? Who will do it? The chef, the chef and the manager is going to approve, approve it. And then it says advertising staff will be responsible to market. So there you have the people in charge, the chef, the manager, and the advertising staff. Okay. Then Laura, can you read the next answer, please? Can you read the text? Advertising. 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 Mm -hmm. Bar and staff will stay in communication to carry, to carry off the step to complete the introduction of the drink. Okay, thank you, Laura. And now, Carlos, what do you think? Letter what is A. this? Letter A. A. E, e, letter E. E? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you, Carlos. That's the one, letter E. And then let's continue with the next one. Saira, can you read the text, please? Are you there, Saira? Ah, the microphone. Excuse me, teacher.
Where it says um, the manager. The manager request. Requested. The requested extra funding for this project. Mm -hmm. The drink is made with air that are somewhat rare. rare. But they are not very expensive. Thank you, Saira. This one is ex expensive. Okay, now Anna, Anna and Lily, what is the answer? Letter D. D. Okay, and for you, Lily, the same? D. 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 Letter D. That's correct. It's letter D. Thank you, Anna and Lily. Then, Brian, can you read the text, please? A new drink is going to be introduced. To the menu. Introduce to the menu. Introduce to the menu. Thank you. Jonathan, what do you think? The most difficult one. Uh, um, letter mm -hmm. A. Letter A. Uh -huh. What action or change will happen? Correct. The drink is going to be introduced. Thank you, Jonathan. That's the one. Do you have questions for me? Is there something I could help you with? No, nothing. You are fine, okay. And you guys, are you okay? Questions, Anna, Saira, Lily, no? Not the show. <laughs> okay, so in this moment, you have to create your own action plan. Okay, that is what you are going to do in this moment. You are going to create the action plan to introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant, okay? And you have to mention the strategies you will use, okay? In, in these minutes, we have been studying how to create the action plan and the strategies that we can use to, to promote a product. Hemos estado viendo qué estrategias se usan, ¿verdad? y que puede haber un action plan con cinco preguntas que contestar. Entonces, eso es lo que van a hacer con su restaurant. Van a introducir un nuevo platillo, pero van a explicar cómo lo harán. En to do that, one moment. To do that, you have to answer the five questions, okay? Prácticamente tienen que contestar estas cinco preguntas para about your dish. Okay. Es sobre su platillo y siempre contestan eso para su action plan. Do you understand? Or do you have questions? I understand. You do? Okay. No questions. Okay. This is what we will be doing. We're going to create an action plan to introduce a new product and mention the strategies you will use. You're going to work with the same group you worked um, a few minutes ago. Okay, so you can open the room. One moment, Oscar, let me see. Okay, Oscar, there is your invitation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Rodrigo, do you have your invitation?
en un, en un restaurante, tiene que ser en un restaurante. Sí, restaurante de comida rápida. Uh -huh. Hi, sorry to interrupt. Hay que definir la, la estrategia, cómo hacerlo, o qué utilizar en... Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. Ana, I'm just checking on you. Are you going to stay with me tonight? Yes. In the private session? Ah, okay, perfect. I just wanted to confirm. Do you have questions for me before I go? One question. Mm -hmm. uh, in los, a introducir a new product. Ajá. Uh -huh. Los pasos, yes. lo que acabamos de estar viendo, los cinco, los cinco pasos. Ajá, uh -huh. you have to imagine that you're going to introduce a new dessert. Apple pie, that is the new product in your restaurant. And then by answering the questions, you have to say how you will do it. Al contestar las preguntas, ustedes van a ir diciendo cómo lo van a hacer y cuándo, ¿verdad? Ahí van a explicar su action plan. Uh -huh. wow. okay. 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 Anything okay. else? No. Okay. See you later. En, ahorita lo podemos dejar en postre. Creo que ah, en okay. adelante. Yes, sir. Ya podemos poner. And your algo. dessert is going to the, be introduced to the menu. You check the yes. recipe for the drink. Hi. Is there Besides. something I could help you with? I'm just checking if there is, if you need help. Or are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, if you finish, Shirley. Ajá, uh -huh, Laura. Eh, solo vamos a hacerlo así, digamos, así escrito, sin, sin ser mayor cosa, digamos. Uh, ah, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Es que ya nos gustó sacarnos 10, ah, son Ajá. bromas. Hace <risa> dulces. <risa> Le gustaron los dulces virtuales Ajá. a Laura. Le gustaron. <risa> Eran de fresa y caramelo. Caramelo. Ajá, no, este, pero no lo vamos a presentar, o sea, no va a ser así como presentación llamativa eh, mostrando el producto en sí, ¿verdad? No. Eh, no, no it's not necessary. Bien. Uh -huh. okay. Just mention the name. Just mention the name of the of the product. If it is a an apple pie or a strawberry cake, just mention the name of your product. And then how? Porque si vamos a ir viendo por qué escogen tal cosa, verdad? Something about the Merry Christmas. Ajá. Uh Vaya, -huh. si es un producto navideño, entonces el nombre, verdad, y luego todo aplicado a eso. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. See you later. Thank you. See you later. Pero no tengo el WhatsApp de todo. Ahí en Hello. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? Do you have questions? No. No questions. Okay, just one one comment. Remember, you have to mention the name of the dish that you are going to introduce. Recuerden de mencionar cuál va a ser el platillo, porque depende del platillo, verdad, que escoja. Así deberían de ser su así debería de ser su action plan. Digamos que fuera un platillo navideño, verdad. Entonces, tu action plan va a estar basado en la época, en, la, en el momento. Okay, so don't forget to mention the, the name, the name of the dish. Okay. Well, if you don't have questions, I'm going to go. Okay. See you later. Hi, everyone. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to know if you needed my help. Did you need help? No. Okay, so just one comment. Remember, I don't know if I told you this, but remember to mention the name of your dish. For example, if it is a Christmas dessert, you have to mention when you write the action plan, you have to mention the season in which you're going to promote it. 
Recuerden de, de mencionar el nombre del, del dish, ¿verdad? Si es un postre, si es un main course. Y luego su action plan va a ir relacionado, ¿verdad? A lo que han escogido. Si es algo navideño, entonces se aplica a la época navideña, as an example. Así que para que lo tomen en cuenta. The ¿Mm? item is a, a dessert, um, pitaya crepe. Ah, ok. That sounds exotic. It's the, yes. the first. <laughs> ok, that's cool. Oh, and Jenny, este, revisé lo de la naranjada, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Era la palabra. Uh, Pero uh -huh. es un poco distinto. Este sería... Uh -huh. uh, ah, ok. Eh, esa soda que, que queda así se llama sprinkle water. Sería sprinkle water with orange Spring. juice. Así es quedaría. Que... Sprinkle water with uh -huh. orange juice. Orange juice. Uh -huh. okay. El otro Thank era you, tres teacher. leches, pero de ese no, no sé si es algo más de Central America porque no lo, no lo encontré. Okay, but that will be the, the other one. Okay, uh, well, that is only I wanted to tell you. Uh, if you don't have more questions, I'm going to go, okay? How are you doing? Are you about to finish or not yet? ¿Cómo va? ¿Ya casi terminan o todavía les falta? Ah, okay. Okay. Second question. Okay, that's, that's all right. Well, in that case, I'm going to let you continue. See you later. Hi, Elena. Are you there or not yet?
Ginger. No. Jengibre es ginger. Jengibre es ginger. Ginger es verdad. Ginger, yes. That eh, are, también puede ser. Eh, raro, que son algo raro, porque realmente creería que sí. Que son raras las galletitas. Sí. But are not very expensive. The last one, the communication and by board. Listen. Ajá, como un, como un presente. Presente de, de Reyes. Yes, yes. Present day of kings. A present of kings. Adentro, un de peque. Como un de oro. Adentro, un de peque. Es la hora de dormir. Communication. What? Who? Who? What? We will need. Necesitaremos. I, uh, we will need. Um, we will need uh, some Perdón. marketing budget. Podemos colocar como un presupuesto para marketing. Marketing yeah. budget. Pero si no dije que vamos a hacer marketing. ¿En la promoción? No. Ah, ¿cómo no? Pero ¿cómo se supone que lo va a promocionar los mismos meseros del lugar? Ajá, sí, no colocamos nada ¿Sí? que se pague. Ah, no, solo el, 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 el costo de, de, de lo que vamos a necesitar. Por ejemplo, de las picayas. Y lo demás. We will need a a budget for the new dessert, for the new... Yes, see, a budget. To buy, to buy the, the, the fruit, fruit, fruit. To buy. To buy the new... Fruit, the for the... Fruit. Sería una imagen. Lo, lo ah, visualiza. Dice en García de Minio, lasaña. ¿Encontró? No, no, no. ¿Esta les parece? Está bien, esa. Sí. Ok. Día. La otra que es el staff. Sería personal en el restaurante.
Okay, welcome back. I hope you finish. Hoy sí traté de darle suficiente tiempo. So I hope it was enough. <laughs> and as always, we will start with group number one, Brian, Carlos, Laura, and Maria Concepcion. Okay, share with us your action plan for the dish that you selected. Christmas cookies. Mm, okay. A new dessert, Christmas cookies. A new dessert is going to be introduced to the meal. The chef created the recipe, the recipe for the dessert. The manager approved for it, and the adversity, adversity advertising will, advertising staff mm -hmm. will be responsible to market the product. The dessert will be a, a by, by available available during Christmas. The manager manager requests extra funding for this project. The dessert is made with ginger that are so, somewhat rare. Some somewhat rare. 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 Mm -hmm. But they are not very expensive. I've been uh, versus ah, advertising. Advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the dessert. We will also use social networks. Okay, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. The Christmas cookies. I will help you with some, some vocabulary, eh, Maria Concepcion. Carlos, can you share the document? Uh, just, just one moment, please. Uh, the first one is recipe. Recipe, eh, Maria Concepcion. Recipe. Aha, uh -huh, the recipe. Ginger. The recipe. Ginger. Mm -hmm. And the other one, okay, available, again. Available. Available. Okay. Advertising. Advertising. Okay, thank you. So just let me look at it one moment. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, okay. So it says here that it's only seasonal, right? It's only for the Christmas time and then the cookies are gone. They are over. Okay, it's a good selection and it's applied to, to the moment, right? Thank you, you did a great job. It was understandable and, and very, very clear. Okay, now group number two, Arnoldo, Oscar, Saira, and Wendy. Gift of the King. A new dessert will be introduced of the dessert men or the menu dessert. This, the executive chef will be in charge of preparing a new dessert with his work team and showing of the board of the of directors. Number three, the dessert will be made available from December 1 to January 6, 2022. Number four, it is necessary that the dessert emanate, emanate the Christmas spirit with his colors and flavor and that it can be given at present of kings. Number five, the sales and customer service team and as well as the call center will know its quality and will know the flavors and texture of the dessert. Number six, the client will enjoy two options. The second half price or a two for or a three for two. Okay, that's a good option too. Thank you, Arnoldo. The action plan sounded very well. It's clear what you're going to be doing. Maybe the only comment I can give you about, the, about your uh, reading is that when you talk about dates, Arnoldo, you have to say, for example, December 1st. You have first. to use uh -huh, 1st and January, January 6th. 
Uh -huh. January the 6th. That one doesn't change that much. Just, just that comment, but the fluency, the information was clear. Okay, then group number three, Lily, Jonathan, and Jenny. What actual or chance will happen? A new dessert is interest. <laughs> the menu is a crepe. Mm -hmm. Who will carry it up? The chef will create the dish, the server will promote the dessert. And the administrator will assign the price. Mm -hmm. When will it take place and for how long the new dessert will be promoted promote, uh, as a seasonal Christmas dessert during, during the month of December? Mm -hmm. But resources are needed to carry all the chunks. We will need a bucket to, to buy the fruit for the new best. Who, who should know what? Uh, for this project, this manager will have the school, the school activity to ensure each of the step. Excellent. Pia, Pitaya Crip. And where did Pitaya that Crip. name, where, why did you choose that name? Um, because um, Pitaya is a fruit, fruit. Um, what is, uh, uh, is not a common, Fruit. Yes. Yes. No, I have yeah. never tasted that. Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very delicious. Is, does it exist in El Salvador? Yes, yes, it exists. Can I that find is... it in the supermarket or in the market? Yes, uh, but in not all supermarket. Um, ah, okay. It's a friendly place. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes, Arnold. The, the, name, the name in English is Dragon Fruit. Dragon. That name sounds more familiar, the Dragon Fruit, but I'm not, uh, la, I'm not very familiar with it. Es la fruta, la fruta del dragón, le dicen. I'm es going to Creo que, no, aquí le dice, uh, es como la fruta de, este, de esta cosa que crece en el desierto. Que la es como... tuna. Cactus. Es, ajá, cactus. La tuna. Es. Y tajaya le dicen también. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. No, es la primera vez que escucho esto. Pero Dragon Fruit se me hace conocido. Ok, thank you. I'm going to help you with the pronunciation really quick. Ok. Eh... Okay. Change, Lily, I think it was you. So that word will be change and dessert. That is, that is how it sounds. The one that you see here, dessert and, and change. And the one here is budget. That's the way it sounds, budget. The other one here, I think it was uh, Jonathan, schedule. Schedule. Uh huh. Schedule. Just, just that one. Well, those ones. But thank you, thank you very much. It was very well too. Another Christmas dish. And now, let me check. Anna, Rodrigo, Nelson, and Omar. Can you continue, please? Teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Jenny, do you have what a is that different? What uh -huh. is that different in pronunciation? The, the cierto? 
on desert. Desert. Uh -huh. desert. That will be the desert. Desert. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y el the otro desert es is desert. Correct. Desert. 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 Uh -huh. Y dessert. Dessert. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, Anna. You have our hey, Nelson. Hello. Nelson. Uh, para que lo lea, pero permítame. Okay, okay. Permítame, la pongo de nuevo. <laughs> I saw. Maya Nelson. Okay. La sangna. Oh. oh. Ahí inicia. What? Okay. Introduction the lasagna in the Oh, que no se ve. No se, no se mira es. Verme, oh sí, vaya. Dice, why action or the change will happen? Introduction de lasaña in the menu. We will carry it how the chef the chef decrees the receipt for the food, the manager approves of it, and the everything staff will be responsible to market in the products. Oh, Mark. When will it take place on for how long? Staff department responsibility, the marketing, the pro, as long as your one to share as family all year. What resource I need to carry out the manager, the restaurant request. Menu like the people advertising the public and communication. Who should could that is a marketing a network? Welcome to Task or New Lesson. I like I like lasagna. It's it's delicious, right? So yes, thank you. Uh, guys for the presentation very beautiful just I think there is one question that was incompleted creo que había una pregunta que quedó incompleta Ana la que hablaba de los resources I didn't understand very well the answer question that says what resources are needed what is the answer again for that question what are the resources? Uh, the manager restaurant requests. But what do you mean? Como ahí es que recursos van a utilizar. ¿Cuál es la respuesta que querían dar? Is the manager which extra funding for the project, this restaurant. Ah, okay. So the manager is going to provide the money. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. All right. So it will be better if you say it the way Rodrigo said it. It will be because it sounded a little bit incomplete. Besides that, it was, it was excellent. Okay, thank you. Very nice presentations. You did it very well. Now, uh, before we go, I am going to describe food in 
you have to tell me what you imagine it is. Okay. Voy a describir alguna comida y ustedes tienen like one minute to tell me what it is. Si nadie me dice cuál es, I will ask you a question and all of you answer by chat. Si nadie sabe qué es, van a contestar todos una pregunta by chat and, and some of you are going to say the answer. Okay. Do you understand the idea, the activity? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is a kind of burger. This is a kind of burger. This is a kind of burger. Eh, no, this is a kind of burger. Potato? No. Hamburguesa. That is one kind. Es un tipo de. It's a kind of burger. It's a burger. Which one? No. Jenny, repeat. Cheeseburger. Cheese. Uh -huh, that's the one. Cheeseburger. Okay, good. Next. You can put beef in this to make hamburgers. You can put this to make, I'm sorry, you can put beef, beef to make hamburgers. You can put beef in this to make hamburgers. What for hamburger? Uh, no. Uh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? No. Mayonnaise? Concepción? No, Jenny. No. Meat no. hamburger. Beef. Beef. No. Carne de no, res. Jonathan. Carne. No, Arnoldo. No. Angus. No, no, Wendy. You can put, Mostaza. I will send it. No, mustard, no. No, no. 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 Okay, let me send it in the chat. You can put. No, no, no. Mm, no. Uh, carne doble, no es. No. Como el. Chicken hamburger. Eh, Pan de no. hamburguesa. Uh -huh. Bread. Bread is the answer. Porque ahí le pueden poner el beef, la carne, y hacen una hamburger. Okay, good. Last one. Uh, it's called bread rolls. That is like pan de, de hamburguesa. Bread rolls. Okay, last one. This is a large piece of meat. This is a large piece of meat. I'm sending it by chat too, so you can read it. Ya, 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 ya le envié mi respuesta, teacher. Really? In the, ah. No. No, Carlos. It's that that one. I'm sure this time. <laughs> this is a large piece of meat. Size. Which Una one? Pieza de carne. Una pieza de carne grande. Aha. Uh -huh. Teacher, tibón. No. Hot dog. No. A piece large of meat. Yes. Churra. No, Brian. Mm, yes. No, hey, no, 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 Laura. A leg, a leg of pizza. No, no, Arnoldo, no, Wendy. La torta. No, Elena, no, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Tortilla con carne. Churrasco. No, no, Arnoldo. 
No. Con hambre terminamos después de la yes, clase. Yes, I'm going to tell you because we have to go. But it's that one. Are you familiar with that one? Sick. Sí. That's a large. Uh -huh, that's a large piece of hey, meat. Estoy a caballo. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Correct. So let me take the attendance really quick. Oh, by the way, la tarea de ahora está basado en lo que vamos a ver mañana. Así que les recomiendo que no la hagan today porque van a van a quedar confundidos. So, just a heads up. Ok, Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Elizabeth Martínez. José Arnoldo. Present. Okay. José Galileo. Present, ma'am. José Jonathan. Thank you. Present. José Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Mayra Moreno. Present, teacher. Thank you, Elena. Eh, Nelson Gabarrete. En Omar Francisco. I'm here, miss. Uh -huh. Thank you. Present. Okay. Oscar Villatoro. En Zaira Present. Marleni. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Maribel, Jenny Suleiman. Present teacher. Present. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, you're free to go. You can take a good night's sleep. See you tomorrow. I'm going to stay good with night. Anna tomorrow. tonight. Good See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Take Bye. care. Bye. Thank you, Nelson. Bye, Bye Galileo. Recover See soon. See you. Yes, Nelson, do you have a question? Teacher, yo, yo, yo tengo oh, una Carlos. pregunta. Ajá. ¿Cuándo me toca mi sesión de los 10 minutos? Eh... Porque según este listado era el número 4, tocaba jueves. Yes. Pero con un listado. Vamos, usted es el siguiente, Carlos. Luego de, sería, ahora es jueves. Ok, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. Mañana. ¿Va a poder mañana? Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Ok. Entonces sí, quedamos para mañana. Ok. Ok, okay good night. Sweet dreams. One moment, Ana. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay, Ana. Hello. How are you doing? Is that your daughter in the back? Yes. Ah, okay, a very beautiful girl. She looks like you. She has a reflex, yes. like you. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, what is her <laughs> name? Uh, Nancy Tatiana. Nancy. Ah, okay. Siempre me han gustado los nombres que como que terminan en I se oyen como bien dulces. Nancy, Tati, como que se oyen bien de cariño, ¿verdad? Okay, Ana. Uh -huh. How can I help you? What would you like to practice or to check in this moment? Yo creería, teacher, este de los comparativos. What about comparatives, exactly? Mm -hmm. El, pero, ¿qué exact, exactamente, Ana? Como las reglas. Eh, así o... como la confusión. Ajá, como la confusión que yo tuve, por ejemplo. El que le envié, I have in Kaya, the taxi jet, me parece que se fue la que... Ah, entonces me... los, no, no son los comparativos, son los fanboys, unas, unos Ay, sentence fanboys. connectors. Ok, sí, Ajá, siento que sería una buena idea dos. repasarlos. Ok, ok, hay diferentes fanboys, ¿verdad? Está, por ejemplo, yeah. Ford. Ahora, el problema ah. es que la palabra, depende del contexto, puede tomar diferentes definiciones o significados. Ajá. Es como en español vino. Vino, depende del contexto, puede ser un verbo o puede ser Exacto. también un, un, una bebida, right? Entonces, una algo bebida. así pasa Exacto. con for. For, yo sé que puede ser por o para, depende del contexto, pero Ajá. el que veíamos... Eh, eh, two days ago, este for 
¿Se recuerda qué era? No, no, no era Ford. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí era Ford el que, sí. el que estaba fallando. Ajá, Ajá, entonces, es prácticamente un, un, un reemplazo. Usted en vez de usar because, tiene que utilizar for. Pero como for. que fuera en el caso de because, like this. Mm -hmm. They study English because they want a better job. Ok, ahí está because. Entonces, for solo va a ser como un sustituto. Un sustituto. Uh -huh. They study English for they want a better job. Si usted trata de cómo traducir, va a sonar raro, ¿verdad? Por, el, por cómo uno lo entiende. Pero en este uh -huh. momento, pues, tiene que tomarlo literalmente como que fuera because. Entonces, uh -huh. es un sustituto. Y lo que yo noté en las oraciones que usted me envió era de que lo estaba utilizando como con otro significado. Quiero ver si tengo aquí sus sentences. Ok, esa está bien la que mandó de I have I have worked a lot today for I am tired. I'm very tired. Esa estaba bien ahí. La que envió uh -huh. de, en segundo lugar. Uh -huh. Que ahí le puse y que, que está, se veían mejor. Y it was raining a lot for the reason. Y creo que esa era la que estaba por el significado al que, Where is that que le di, ¿verdad? No veo it esta. Was, está en la página. Le, ah, ok, sí, aquí, en una sí. página. Ok, it was raining Ajá, en el a lot. Ajá, esa era la que no, no estaba como picos. Uh, sino que ya estaba con otro significado, for. Para, para. Uh -huh, algo uh -huh. así se entendía, ese for. Ok. Y la otra, I have, I have not calling the taxi jet. Ajá, bye. Entonces el jet... Ahí le está dando usted el significado como tradicional, no como el nuevo. El nuevo yet es como bat. Y bat mm. es un conector que va en medio. Usted me lo colocó al final, al, al final, final de la oración. Uh -huh. Entonces, ese lo tiene que usar como bat. Por ejemplo, okay. I need to study but I'm sick ok so I use yet I need to study yet I'm sick and if you look at the position Anna, the position of the word is in the middle it's not at the end uh -huh. because it's connecting two ideas entonces, no lo he puesto ah, al final, pues, sino que ve en medio, ¿verdad? Porque está conectando ideas o palabras. Ajá, exacto. Pero el exacto, jet okay. que usted me ponía, ¿verdad? Que iba como en aún, como que todavía no, en ese sentido. Iba jet. Exacto. Uh -huh. Sí, ok. Sí, ya, ya lo entendí entonces. Ajá, entonces solo es como que lo use, ¿verdad? Pero en vez de usar but o en vez de usar because... Usted va a decir la palabra for o usted utilizaría la palabra yet. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Okay. Con el so siento okay. que estamos bien. Las oraciones que envió estaban bien con so. Ajá. Ajá. Eh, nor, ¿qué tal iba con ese? Con nor. Ah, creo que ese es el que lo dejé también porque le puse a call is nature around. Fish no, not fog. W, do, perdón, F O W L, no me acuerdo qué significa. Ajá. Sold. Ok. Pero ese estaba bien. 
Eso está bien escrito. Ah, ajá. Pero si okay. quiere que se lo refresque el uso de cómo va, lo vemos. Okay. Okay. So, nor, eh, les mencionaba que es como un elemento negativo, ¿verdad? Que lo vamos a usar para negación. Pero este usualmente va como la segunda, como el segundo, segundo o tercer negativo en una oración, ¿verdad? Porque okay. significa en not. Eso es lo que significa esta palabra. En not. not. Entonces está negando lo que vaya, lo que sea que vaya a decir. Por eso es un, es un, como un elemento de negación. Entonces tiene que empezar o decir algo que se entienda que es negativo. I don't want. Y tiene que haber algo que ya esté negando porque el otro dice en not y no. O sea, es como un segundo eh, eh, rechazo, por decirlo así. I don't want y aquí pongo el primero. Usualmente para el primero puede usar esta combinación y poner neither. I don't want. Neither help. Y luego para el segundo pone nor, que ya significaría en not. Money. Entonces ya hay Ajá, pero dos le habían puesto que, el, que la vaca y el pescado no eran una ballena. A full ballena es. No well, vale ballena. es ballena. Full. No me recuerdo haberlo escuchado oh, antes. Yeah, ok. Let's see. Call is. Creo es un, uno de estos que no me recuerdo como un chom, chompipollo. Como un pavo real. Lo ah, veo acá, was... pero no, no ah, logro distinguir. Sí, exacto. Ajá, como que. Inea, sí. Inea. No me recuerdo bien de eso. Ya voy a buscar cómo se llama. Ajá. Pero es ah, como... Pues sí estaba bien. Yes. Ajá. Es un elemento negativo, pero, pero ya primero ya tuvo que haber una negación, ¿verdad? Porque ese es un segundo o ah. un tercer negativo. Ah, okay. Ajá. Entonces va algo así. Ah, ok. Está bien entonces. Ok. Anything else? No sé si había otra palabra de esas, de esas que vimos. Estaba for, no. estaba in, or. But, or. Esta de or creo que es siempre como son conectores, ¿verdad? Siempre uh -huh. van a ir enlazando a una, a un complemento de oración. Ajá, como que yo diga. Do you want to study or sleep? Es, el, es como el or normal, que, que es para dos opciones, una o la otra. Entonces, una o la ahí, otra. Ajá, ajá, es el sí. normal or. Ok, ah, pues sí está bien. Just that. Solo eso, entonces. Yes. Ok, Ana. Sí. In that case, we will stop here. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Nice and Bye bye. Bye.